it's Don, the auction professor here. Um, I got back from a picker. I had three I've seen to the, this week already. I still have one more to go and see uh, tomorrow. Um, but this is what I got. Um, I have 95 bucks in everything you see here. Um, and this is what I got. I'll show you real quick here. Um, the basics, I always buy pens. Um, advertising pens, pens that move. This one actually, you press the button and the little screen changes on the pen. It's an advertising piece. Um, it's local. Uh, it's probably something from the 50s or 60s, probably 10, 12 bucks. Um, this one here is um, F and P Wilson Market. Um, it's in Steubenville, Ohio. This is a small town, little uh, type of advertisement, probably 10, 15 bucks. This is a 1982, uh, probably from the opening year of um, Disney's Epcot Center. It's actually got Figment uh, from Journey into Imagination on it. I believe the ride's since been removed and you can't see that anymore. Um, I'll probably put, say, 1850 on this. It's Disney all the way. Original, still works. Um, pretty decent item. Um, another pen, Hershey Farm Restaurant. Um, this is actually from Hershey, Pennsylvania, the restaurant inside there. Uh, it's probably 60s. It's aluminum. Uh, it's well made. Still works. Um, this one's probably about 27 bucks. I'll probably put on it. Uh, Peterson's Garage, in Dusky, Ohio, small town. Um, this is 1950s. Uh, again, probably 1850. Uh, this one here is um, Sterling Dye Operations. Um, this is a national company. It's vintage. Um, this is probably early 50s. 10, 15 bucks. Uh, local items like little leather wallets and things from a Finley uh, First National Bank. Um, something like this, probably 17 bucks. I paid a dollar for the pens and all the rest of this is almost everything in here is a dollar other than some magazines and a couple of these advertising pieces. Um, this here, another leather item, it's an advertising for a local uh, dry goods company um, along with um, what they sold and it's got a calendar from the 20s. This is probably like 24, 25 bucks I'll put on it. Um, here's an interesting piece. This is 1960s. Somebody kept this from the Hyatt Rama in Bangkok. It's actually a city guide um, from that time. It's got a ton of information, lots of nice vintage photos. Um, it's from an odd area. You don't see a lot of stuff like this. It's got advertising for Pan Am. Uh, I'll probably put like 5750 on this little book. Uh, Mandarin Hotel. I mean, it shows China and, and stuff like that, and it's a really interesting book. I've actually looked through it for 20 or so minutes just because I like this kind of stuff. Um, but again, I'll put like 50 some odd bucks on this piece and take whatever. Um, some of the other items, um, I grab tickets all the time. This is actually trolley tickets from Dover Philly Transit Company. Um, interesting item. I haven't looked this one up yet. Um, I got another lot too that I'll probably show a video on soon that's just literally this kind of stuff. 500 or so pieces of it, maybe 600 even max. Um, this is an early Elvis. It came from Camden Records. It was probably on the counter given away at record stores. It's from 1976, so it's an earlier one. Um, this is a Tiny Life. It's a religious magazine from uh, like 1890s. I believe this is a, a re-release, um, but still I'd probably put, say, 12, 15 bucks on it. A uh, nice poster stamp from uh, Detroit Mission Exposition from 1936. Um, I'll probably put like thirty-four fifty on it, maybe a little more. Um, let's see, this is uh, another uh, Finley Street Railway Company. It's a trolley car ticket. It's actually hand-signed by the superintendent, so this one might be worth something. Um, another good poster stamp here. However, I put it in a little sleeve just so nothing happens to it. It's American Airlines um, celebrating their millionth passenger flown. Um, I should be able to find the date on this um, pretty easily online. Um, here's another ticket. It's a... Um, uh, it's another trolley. It's a trolley of some sort. Um, I'll have to look up where it's from, but it's got bus stations, terminal stations. Um, Omaha and Council Bluffs uh, Street Railway Company. So it's a trolley car one. Some of these I've sold trolley car tickets for 150 bucks before, so I always grab them. I talk about stamps a lot. Um, here's some poster stamps. It's Disney. These are actually from 1937. It's the whole sheet, but it's missing the very top. So this might be something that I'll separate and um, sell separately for, say, $7.99 starting price and take whatever. I paid a dollar for this sheet. So, you know, they're pretty cheap. Um, here's an advertising, like a toy piece. Um, Eagle Rubber Company, they sold balloons as well, too, and a balloon would be tied through the hole, and I guess it would walk or something, but um, it's probably like a $20 piece, maybe more. Um, and I put this in this already, but 
Um, I pick up these all the time. I've picked up stacks of these before. This is probably from the 40s or 50s. Um, this should sell for like 20, 25 bucks max. Um, it's still in good condition. People fold them. They'll put popcorn, fake popcorn in it and stuff like that. Um, this is local. Um, one of the, the museums out here with uh, handed this out. Put in Bay Area. Um, it's a real nice piece. It's early. Um, it talks about the actual uh, dedication of the monument. So I've sold a lot of Putin Bay items. Um, it's literally in the middle of Lake Erie. I'm uh, not the middle, but it's out in Lake Erie an hour or so by boat, depending on how, what kind of boat you take. You can take a air, uh, airplane out there too, or a helicopter. Um, but uh, these sell for like 30 or 40 bucks, probably. I would guess. Uh, the Maccabees. Uh, it's a fraternal group. Um, just takes time to learn some of the names of these groups, but um, these things sell. It's actually sheet music. Um, it's oddball size. Um, something like this I'll probably put 3450 on, take whatever I can get. Um, I've talked about cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, Easter cards. Another, this is Hallmark. I sell a lot of early Hallmark. Hallmark sells well if it's vintage, something unique. Um, this one's Hall Brothers, so it's probably like 40s or 50s. Um, but this one's really unique because it actually folds out, and each step is another form of it, but it's got a poster on the inside. So uh, that's pretty cute. Um, this is probably like, I'll put 3450, maybe even 5750 on this and take what I can get. I will not be surprised if I don't get at least, say, 25 or 30 bucks for this. These items sell very well. It's very thick. I wish I had the envelope, but you know, you take them as they come. Um, here's a Rumford baking soda little booklet. Um, I think it's a cookbook of some time. Yeah, it's a cookbook, 1929. This is something I'd put 2450 on, take whatever I can get. Uh, True View, I get these quite often. Um, some of these are worth a lot of money, some aren't. But they're like Viewmaster, early Viewmaster. Uh, these are like 57-ish, I would guess, 50s. Those sell pretty well. I get a bunch of these. I got others. I'm going to put this in a lot and sell them together. Um, Edison Institute Museum, this is Greenfield Village. This is a local place, uh, probably circa 1920-ish. Um, Thomas Edison's house is here, his real house, his laboratory. Um, there's a bunch of cool things here. They've got a science center and houses that they've transported from other parts of the country. They blow glass and all kinds of things like that. But this is probably like a $20 item. Um, Beijing, vintage China items always sell, as I've said. This is actually a city map from like 1970s. Um, this I'll probably put like $34.50. Um, Highways of Happiness, this is like a local Canton, Ohio um, tourist magazine from a uh, culvert, iron culvert company. Uh, another advertising piece. Uh, 1933. This is probably like 34.50. I'll take what I can get. Um, here's a Lion's Pony Express. This is a tourist piece. It's a promo. It's got a nice skull and crossbones on the bottom. It's advertising um, W. Parker Lion Wild West shows. Um, it's a nice little pamphlet. Um, something like this. I'd probably put like 45 bucks on it. Take whatever I can get. It's got Ghost City. It's a real early piece. It's probably from the 20s or 30s. Uh, let me put it back together here. Uh, something well worth your time to get. Um, maps from TWA. Um, city maps sell very well, um, especially ones that are advertising pieces like this. This was a freebie on an airplane. Most people threw these away. Probably 12, 14, 15 bucks, maybe even more. Um, another local, Anthony Wayne. There was a battle up here in War of 1812. Oh, actually, Indian War is probably before that, but this is a map and a brochure. 17 bucks I'll probably put on it. Cavalier Motel. Things from the motel sell fairly well, especially oddball ones with pictures. Um, this is probably like uh, eight, ten bucks. Most of this, again, I paid a dollar for. Uh, this is an Atkinson and Mark Mark Court Rifle Company. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. A and M Rifle. That's what I've always seen it. Um, it's actually a catalog with prices from. Jeez, uh, um, I'm not sure on how old this is. Nor do I see a date. Um, I'd probably say like 50s or 60s, maybe, maybe earlier. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have anything modern looking on it at all. Um, I don't see anything. Prices are really low, so I would say this is probably 40s or 50s. Um, this might go 57 bucks on my starting price, and then I'll just take whatever. Um, Silver Springs, been there myself a couple times. Um, this is one of their mail out ones. Um, this is an early one, I think. It's probably 60 something like this you might get say 12 15 bucks for um, private press comic books sell well this is actually uh, Mahalia Jackson she's a gospel singer I've sold many of her records some of the early 78 sell really high um, but it's literally a comic book privately made um, pretty interesting from the 70s 
Uh, something like this I might get 50, 60 bucks for. I'll have to look it up. I haven't seen this one before. Um, Tiger Beat, um, vintage ones sell very well. Ads and photos, posters, um, even the British magazines. Um, this is Blake 7. Um, I watched a lot of BBC from Canada, so I remember the show. It wasn't on very long around here, but um, it's more like a Logan's Run kind of thing thrown together. Um, lower budget, but it was still neat. This is probably like a $20 magazine. Um, these were in, in the lot, too. I got some more just the other day, too. These are actually, I got a couple uh, movie posters. Um, I don't remember what the title of this one is. This is Running Hot. It's got um, Eric Stoltz, so that's about the only name I can recognize. Um, it's, let's see, 1983 New Line Cinema. Um, it doesn't have any of the traditional marks on it, but I would say it's a real movie poster. Um, something like this might be put 40 bucks on it and take whatever. It just depends on if anybody likes Eric Stoltz enough to buy it. Eric Stoltz did some good movies. Killing Zoe, obviously Pulp Fiction. Um, Killing Zoe is a good movie. You haven't seen that. Uh, let's see, here's another movie poster. Um, this is The Pied Piper. Um, it's got uh, Donald Pleasant, John Hurt. Um... It's interesting when I haven't seen this one before. Um, on movie posters, to tell if they're real, there's a, a uh, NSS number, National Screen Service number. Sometimes it has the NSS for National Screen Service on it, but uh, the 74, the first part of it is the year it came out, and then it's uh, uh, forward slash 317. That's the number of uh, the film number this was for that year, and that's how you can tell if it's a real movie poster or not. Um, usually that's the numbers. If they don't have this, 9 out of 10 are fake or reproductions just to be sold to tourists or for collectibles markets. But uh, something like this again, I'll put 34 50 and take whatever. Who knows what it's worth. Um, this one again, another dollar. All these were a dollar. Um, I'll show you the two items in the bottom that I paid a few bucks for more. But um, this is actually a program from Sgt. Pepper's with the Bee Gees. Um, I don't know what this one's worth. Um, haven't had this one before, but I'll probably put, say, 40 or 50 bucks on it and take whatever I can get. Again, I got like 98 bucks in everything. Um, this is a special issue, uh, Come to the Fair, Telephone Review 1964. It's the New York World's Fair. It's an advertising piece. Um, probably put 27 50 take whatever I can get. Uh, Alaska Sportsman Magazine, 1959. It's an odd title. Um, I'll have to look it up, but chances are I'll probably put, say, um, 24 27 bucks. So maybe more. If I look it up, it could be worth a lot more. Um, this is a coloring book. It's a promotional uh, Snap, crack, crack, Pop, 50 years. Um, I'll have to look this one up, but off the top of my head, I'd guess 14 15 bucks. Uh, it's from 1978, so it's a vintage one. Um, it's no coloring in here. Um, interesting, it's got Martin Luther King Jr., so um, they were trying to do the right thing. It talks about Ike, and it's, you know, it's pretty interesting content. It might be worth some good money. Um, the Ventures, um, this is early, Walk, Don't Run, they did Telstar. Um, they've got quite a few hits. They redid Tequila and things like that. They're just instrumental. Uh, some of the band members were in other groups, so I do know some of their other music, too, as singles. Walk, Don't Run, though, this is a sheet music book. Um, I'm not sure what this one's worth, but a lot of the guitar music sells very well, so maybe $34.50. Um, here's a Carpenters, same thing. It's a nice sheet music book, very thick. Um, I'll have to look this one up, but I'll probably put $34.50 if I can't find a comparable. Um, and then the last two I paid five a piece for these. Um, had to buy them as a pair, and I bought them that way because the Santa Claus one will sell for like 30 bucks around Christmas time. So either way, but uh, again, this is the haul I got today. It was from a picker. I got 98 into it, and I'll probably take home probably six or seven at least from what I got here. So hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.